Today is Thursday, December the 21st, 2017, and we're continuing our discussion of the names of Jesus. And the name that we're looking at today is Everlasting Father. Again, we're in Isaiah 7 or 9 6 for this, as we looked at four names of, of Jesus in this scripture. It says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. So let's examine Everlasting Father. Uh, some people find this difficult to believe, uh, thinking about this word, Everlasting Father. So Everlasting in, in the Hebrew has the idea of perpetuity or without end. He'll always be a Father. Now some would say, now, how could, how could Jesus be both the Father and the Son? <laughs> and I, I think for me, and it may not be as well for you, but for me, Charles Spurgeon has a solid answer. It may not satisfy all of your questions, but it, it sure is a solid answer. And I quote, Our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought life and immortality to light and introduced a new phase of worship to this world, is in that respect a Father. He is the father of all Christians, the father of Christianity, the father of the entire system under which grace reigns through righteousness. Jesus is the father of a great doctrinal system. All the great truths which we are in the habit of delivering in your hearing as the precious truths of God sent down from heaven fell first clearly and powerfully through the lips of Jesus. End of quote. Jesus is a father to us, everlasting father, because he's the beginning of a whole new creation of people of faith. Jesus will never lose his place as our high priest. His office is perpetual. He is the head of all things. He is the everlasting father. Unfortunately, as we approach this Advent season and the celebration of the incarnation of Jesus Christ, uh, many do not have a positive figure of a father in their life. The ideal may be positive, but the reality often lacks substance. From absent fathers to evil uh, fathers, our culture is littered with families that lack strong, godly father figures. Jesus becomes all that is good and right in being the everlasting father to each of those who follow him in faith. Now, in, in, the, in the scripture in Isaiah 9, 6, the, the word father means clearly the kingly protector of his people. You know that George Washington has been called the father of this nation, America. In that sense that he's the kingly protector, Jesus is the father of all who follow him in faith. By the way, the, father, the fathering of Jesus will last past the grave. Everything we know of a good father, that's what Jesus is. He's the firstborn of a new creation. All those who follow him are his sons and daughters. This is not a theological statement in Isaiah about the Trinity. It's a declaration of the character of Jesus. He is for us individually an everlasting father. You know, when I thought about this, I thought about my own father and how, how important a figure he was in my life. My father passed from this life in Thanksgiving 2010. And, and there have been numbers of occasions since then that I, I wanted to call and talk to dad. But that couldn't happen. But I have... I have an everlasting father in Jesus Christ. He is the father, the everlasting father forever. He will never lose his authority or his presence. His name is everlasting father. I encourage you today, call upon Jesus. He will be a father to you. And may we bring all of our worship to our King Jesus Christ and know him today as a protector of our lives, the position of Father holds over us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have, through the prophet Isaiah, declared Jesus to be the everlasting Father. 
the one who will protect us, who shields us, who does everything that's good and right about fathering. <laughs> and someone today, Lord, who's, as we approach this Advent, may, may have such a, a, a sense of loss they didn't have a healthy father figure. And others, they're going to have a tremendous father figure in their life, and, and they're rejoicing about this name. I pray that all of us will look to Jesus today and, and find in him the security and the strength that we need. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We love you. And thank you that you are to us an everlasting father. We give you the glory. Amen. Be encouraged today as we approach quickly the incarnation of Jesus Christ, God becoming man. May you see Jesus as the everlasting father your everlasting father. Have a great day.